This is Chad Jennings from the Boston Herald. We're here at Fenway Park where the Red Sox have finally made the big decision about Pablo Sandoval. This afternoon, the Red Sox designated for assignment their veteran third baseman, switch hitter who they signed to a $95 million deal. They still owe him $18 million next year. They owe him $18 million the year after that. They owe him an opt-out for 2020. They owe him money for this year, and still they're cutting ties with him. Pablo just wasn't playing as well as we had hoped. And it just wasn't here when he went to AAA. Uh, he didn't, not only from an offensive perspective, there were some defensive struggles. And we just re really came down to us feeling that we were not a better club if he was on our club at the major league level. So it was a tough decision, um, but it was one that we thought was the right one. Uh, it's one that uh, ownership was very involved in because I, I, that's a decision when you're talking about those type of dollars that they have to be involved in that from a step-by-step -step perspective. He hasn't been released yet. He's going to go through the designated for assignment process, try to trade him if they can, but this is basically an admission that that deal was a bust. Well, obviously a major decision when you uh, consider all that remains uh, with, with the terms of his deal, but uh, I think what it boils down to is pretty simple. Uh, trying to put the best team on the field every night uh, to put us in a position to extend our season from where we stand today to into October. Um, and we've acknowledged the performance of, of Lynn and Marrero to date. Uh, the, you can't deny their contributions, the way they've helped uh, impact the bottom third of the order. They've done a tremendous job defensively. Um, bottom line is Panda's situation just didn't work. The Red Sox are moving on despite the fact their third baseman right now is a combination of Devin Marrero, who is a glove-only infielder who, who really hasn't even hit much in AAA, and Zue Lin, who as of three or four months ago was basically off the prospect radar and kind of stuck yet again in AA. It's a sunk cost. They've spent this money, they've committed the money, they're going to spend it anyway, and the, the Red Sox have decided basically that they're not going to let that contractual mistake become a mistake that stands in the way of giving somebody else a chance to play third base, giving somebody else a chance to have a positive impact on this team. So Sandoval's done. Sandoval's going to end up somewhere else looking for another opportunity, and the Red Sox are moving on. For the Boston Herald, this is Chad Jennings.